Here's a Beyond the Pitch podcast quick hit from the WVSA Digital Network. Well, I think the biggest thing with turf burns, they're susceptible to infection. If you think about a turf burn and you see these raspberry type injuries, they don't bleed a whole lot. Well, blood is the way our body cleanses the skin. So with these turf burns, we got to make sure we clean them. And what I mean by cleaning them, you got to scrub them uh, with soapy water is, is probably the best way to do that. Uh, after you scrub it with soapy water, get all that grass and those turf petal, uh, pebbles out, uh, what I like to do is put some type of ointment, triple antibody cream on there, and then cover it up because those tend to, to ooze a little bit. Uh, they can get pretty nasty, and, and you want to make sure you cover it up, one, so you don't get any more dirt in there but or, or turf uh, in there. But, two, when you're sleeping, you don't want to wake up, and you don't have, you know, this, this oozing of a wound all over you, and it, it can get pretty nasty. So the biggest thing is you got to get in there, scrub it, and clean it. I actually tell my athletes, when you're scrubbing it in the shower, make sure it bleeds. That way we know, you know, it's getting clean and that blood is cleansing that that potential infection out of there.